Apple Keynote is my go-to application for creating slick, professional looking presentations, graphics, even animations for video. And it's free for the Mac. But if you don't use the correct settings when you want to play your Keynote slideshow through streaming applications like Zoom or OBS Studio for Mac, well, Keynote can become a bit of a pain. When you play back your Keynote slideshow, it takes over your Mac's entire graphics system, including any external monitors you have connected to your Mac. And that's fine for playing your slideshow on a projector in a conference hall. Not so great when you want to play your Keynote slideshow through streaming applications like Zoom or OBS Studio for Mac. Because you lose access to the Zoom or OBS Studio interface because Keynote has taken over all of your displays, which means you can't control your stream. Now this was a big problem until the release of Keynote version 11. Since then, playing your Keynote slideshow through Zoom or OBS Studio for Mac has become way easier. Let me show you. So here we are in Keynote. Now remember, you need to be using Keynote version 11 or higher to make this work. I'm using Keynote version 12.2.1. And I have this slideshow with different animations and transitions that I want to stream for an online presentation using OBS Studio for Mac. You could also just record this presentation or slideshow in OBS if you want to. I have a video on how to screen record in OBS Studio for Mac. I'll leave a link to that in the description. To start, I'm gonna switch over to my other monitor, which I have OBS running on. And I'm gonna quickly create a basic setup for streaming my Keynote slideshow. So I have this default scene that I'll rename Keynote. And then under sources, I'll create a new source, which will be a screen capture source. And I'll name that screen. And then under the screen capture settings, I select my other display, which has Keynote running on it. And there's the Keynote interface. Now it's a bit too big for the canvas, so I'm just gonna fit it to the canvas by right clicking on the display source in the canvas. And from the drop down menu, I'll select fit to screen. Okay. I'm set up to stream my Keynote slideshow. Now, I'm gonna go back over to my Keynote presentation or slideshow on the other display, and I'm gonna go up to the top bar, the top toolbar, and select Play, and watch what happens. Keynote has taken over both of my displays, blocking out the OBS interface on my other display, which means I can't control my stream. That's not good. So I'm just gonna hit escape over here in Keynote to get out of playback mode. And the OBS interface returns. To stop Keynote from taking over all of my displays, I need to go back to Keynote and then go up to the Keynote top menu and select play. And from the menu, switch from in full screen to in window. Then I'll go down to the toolbar and select the play button again. Now watch what happens. My slideshow opens up in its own window only on the display running Keynote. So if we look back over at the main display, we see the OBS interface is still visible and my Keynote slideshow is showing only in the screen capture source in the canvas, which means I can control my stream or recording here in OBS again. Let's pop back over to Keynote. So we have our Keynote slideshow in this window. Now with this window selected and active, if I hit the forward and backward arrow keys, I can advance through my slides as normal. But let's say I want my slideshow full screen. I don't want any of the background or even the window chrome to show. Well, you just select this little green button on the top left of the window and the playback window pops out to full screen. Now, if you hover your mouse on the top of the screen, the controls reappear. Now, if you select this button on the top left of the window, you get the slide navigator, 
where you can jump to any of the slides in your slideshow. Now keep in mind, the slide navigator will show up in your screen capture on OBS, which may or may not be what you want. A much better way to navigate through your slideshow is to go over to the top right of the playback window and select this button. That brings up the presenter display where you can keep track of the slide order, reference your slide notes for each slide. And if you go up above the slide display and select this little button here, you get a mini slide navigator to jump from slide to slide. Then all you need to do is grab the presenter display and just park it over on the main display with the OBS interface and you have all the controls for your stream in one place. So you can use the play in window feature to play your keynote slideshow through Zoom or any other teleconferencing software that allows you to share your screen. The play in window feature is also great for playing your keynote slideshow in screen recording apps like ScreenFlow or Camtasia for Mac. Keynote is such a powerful, easy to use content creation tool. If you're interested in more ways to use Apple Keynote to create great quality content, have a look at this playlist on my channel. And if you're interested in tutorials on how to live stream using OBS Studio for Mac, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.